Okay, so program tonight. Uh, quick warm up, like usual, then uh, we'll get to repeating all the strikes we've done so far because I don't want to introduce something new and then people don't, uh, don't remember what we've done. So I'm gonna review everything we've done till now. Uh, and so next time we can introduce something else. Uh, I don't want to overwhelm people. Uh, so we are going to do um, Jogi Buri, Naname Buri, which are the, the sections. And then we'll add Furikaishi, which is basically the same Furikaishi we did the last time, but on the spot. And then we'll repeat all the strikes. Uh, we'll repeat again how we open for all the strikes. And if we have enough time, I'd like to redo it Uchikaishi, which is the first exercise we did with men and Sune. And some of the kata if we have more time. So really depending on how long we take to do that, uh, I'll adapt the program a bit. But uh, at least repeat all the strikes and all the, all the defenses and things like that. So that's the, that's the goal today, okay. Right, uh, if you don't see anything, I'm, I'm gonna be quite far from my computer, so if you don't see anything, give me a shout uh, and I'll try to adapt that. Okay, so let's just warm up quickly. So first the hips, rotate. The other way around. Okay, sideways. Okay, ease. And the other side. Okay. Stretch the legs. And the side. Okay, and sideways. And all the way down. And the other side. In the center. And the side. Okay, turn the hands forward. And back. And just the elbows. And the side. Okay, stretch one shoulder. Change. Okay, and the other hand. Okay, 
Yeah, the other way around. Okay. Now the head. Turn the other side. And stretch. Bring it all around. Okay, thank you very much. Let's do a quick rego. So, César. Mozo. Mokso yame. Eh? Okay, guys. So um, let's start with doing uh, just the footwork first, just to warm ourselves up. Uh, I'm gonna remove my shoes because, well, doing footwork with shoes is just weird. Yeah. If you have an idea, Nata, just take it. For once, I have a real one. There you go. So, hey. Chudani Kamai. Okay, make sure that you're on the front of your feet, that your naginata is more or less centered to your own body. If you look at the front, okay. Mai. Mai. Ato. Ato. Mai. Migini Irake. Migini Irake. Idarini Irake. Idarini Irake. Okay, when you do um, go to the right, don't forget to start with the right foot. And when you go to the left, we start with the left foot, okay? Don't move too much your naginata around, so don't, don't follow. Okay, so the naginata stays in the center and we just move everything together. Okay? Okay, Migini Irake. Idarini Irake. Migini irake. Okay. Sugiyashi ato. Sugiyashi ato. Sugiyashi mai. Sugiyashi mai. Okay. Um, just one thing. At the moment, I see some people who are moving first before they do anything. So don't do any extra steps before going. So from here, directly and directly. Okay. No other step. Sugiyashi mai. Sugiyashi ato. Sugiyashi mai. Sugiyashi ato. That's fine. Ayumiyashi ato. Ayumiyashi mai. Okay, just a really quick um, thing to remember. When I go forward, I cross in the front. When I go backwards, I cross in the back, okay? Uh, also, if I, when I cross, I make a small step so that my hip doesn't move forward, okay? And then when I'm doing, I'm uncrossing, I'm gonna do a large step, okay? So small, large, small, large. Same thing forward, small, large, small, large. Okay, one more time, ayumiyashi ato. Small, large, small, large. Ayumiyashi mai. Okay. Mochikaete. Okay. That's good. Everyone's going backwards for us. It's perfect. Ayumiyashi ato. Mai. Mai. Ato. Mai. Tsugiyashi mai. Don't forget to do only the steps you need, no extra step. Sugiyashi mai. 
Tsugeshi Ato. Tsugeshi Ato. Ayumi Ashi Mai. Ayumi Ashi Ato. Ayumi Ashi Mai. Tsugeshi Ato. Machikaite. Don't forget to move both feet. So when you're doing mochikaite, you want to, I'm gonna show in diagonal, I don't have much space to do sideways today. So you want to move the back foot first back and then change vertically here in the middle and then move forward with both feet, okay? Both feet go back, both feet go forward, okay? Okay, one more time, so mochikaite, backwards, Change in the center, forward with both feet. Okay, one more time, Uchikaite, back and forward. Okay, I'm just gonna admit somebody who just joined, one sec. There you go, all right. Okay, so now we're gonna do all the Kamae. So first things first, make sure you have a good Shudan. That means, okay, sorry, I'm gonna, Try to show sideways, I'm not too sure if I can. So diagonally maybe. So you want to have your back hand in the joint between the hip and the body, okay? And both hands need to have the same grip. So the both hands are in the long, long grip, okay? Not like this, but like this, okay? Uh, if you have a real naginata, make sure you have the, the one elbow distance at the back. Okay, so from here let's take a so. So I'm gonna swap. My back hand is sliding into the other one. I'm changing in the middle. If I would be forward, is how you would see to look. And change the hands. So you can see the back hand is now on my hip, and it's still one elbow distance. Okay, I didn't change the distance here, but today I have a real naginata, so I can show with a long one distance. Also, if you have a real naginata, you'll see it is oval, okay? It is not round, you can see the, the difference. It means that if I have a real naginata, I want the small part of the naginata to be against my hand, okay? Not the big side. So if you have it like this, you can feel it's wider than if you have it like this. So the small bit of the naginata should be in your hand. That means also that the, the blade is going to be facing forward. You can, you can feel that the blade is forward. Okay. That didn't go very well. Okay. So, Chudan, let's take a saw again. Oh. Okay. Good. Right. And Chudan. All right. Let's do that the other side, so let's change Mochikaite. Don't forget to go back with both feet and then forward with both feet. Okay, now I saw, um, just check yourself. Do you have the, the hand on the hip here, this one? And do you have the other one next to your ear? Please check yourselves. Okay, and back to Chudan. Okay, let's try a couple more times, I saw. Yeah, you can see here my, my elbow is, I'm gonna say up, but not really up. It's like, if the, the shoulder is down, you know, uh, if, if I go too much, if I go too much, my shoulder gets up, you see? That, that is not good because no, it's not relaxed anymore. So it needs to be relaxed. And at the same time, the naginata needs to be in your hand completely. So if you're like this, that's wrong, okay? You want the whole hand to be against the naginata and the shoulder to be low, okay? Okay. Chudan. Mochikaite. Okay. Let's do Jogeburi. I'm just gonna recap for one second. So we'll show you diagonally. Of course, normally we're not diagonal. So the back hand pushes up while the back foot moves forward. And then both hands go down all the way straight until I cannot go straight anymore. 
and then my back leg, the one that was already back, is going backwards again, and I finish. When I finish, if you can see, my back hand is one fist out of my body, and sorry, sorry, I, I really don't have space, so I'm gonna show you side of this. So my, my back hand is out of my body, and the front leg, it needs to be stretched, okay? Okay, so if I show you from the front, you don't want to do something like this, so you don't want your ass to be out, and you don't want, if you sh I show you from the side, you don't want to be either forward or backwards, okay? You want to be straight on both directions, so both sideways and, and the other side, so like this, okay? Let's try a couple of times, I'm gonna go back a bit, okay. So up, all the way straight, and down, straight, and out of your body. The front hand is it's resting against my thigh here, okay? Up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. Okay, uh, just a couple of things that I'm looking at. Uh, some people are not going completely straight. So if you can, if you are facing the camera, just take advantage of the camera and see if you are exactly in your middle. So if it goes sideways in any direction, it's wrong. Okay, it should be always very straight in the middle. So check yourself on your camera if you have a, a camera to do that. Um, and the second thing that I would like to, to say is when you arrive up, you want your hands to be closed. So if I'm here, I'm gonna adjust so you can see. If I'm here, my hand is still closed. If my hand is open, it's because I'm holding it with the other one. You don't want that. You want it to be closed. If I, if I drop the back hand, you'll see, if you drop the back hand, you'll see how your hand is. That's how it should be. Just give it a go, drop the back hand, and maintain the position. Look at your front hand. That's the right position. Okay? So let's do that again. I'm gonna remove a layer, sorry about that. Okay. Okay, let's do that again. So first step up, check your front hand. If you are not sure, let go of the other one. Okay. And then back down, all the way straight down, straight, 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 and out of your body. Okay, yeah, that's good. Again, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, I'm going to show you how to change, okay? So when you want to change sides while doing uh, this movement, so once you're going up, you put both hands together and you swap the hands and then slide again and forward. I don't know if everyone has understood this because I'm quite far from the computer. So I'm gonna show like this. So the back hand slides into the other one. I'm swapping the hands and then I'm going down the other, the other way, okay? On my knees now, so of course I cannot do it, but Let's try again. So let's try to change with the right foot forward now. So one and change. Okay. And now I'm doing the same movement the other way around. So up. Again, check your, your front hand. If you're not sure, let go of the back to see how it is. Yeah. Okay. All the way straight down and backwards. Okay. Up. Down. Up. Down. Okay, yame. Okay, the next one is Nana Meburi. So Nana Meburi is the one from Asso. So I'm gonna take Asso first. I don't have much space, so I hope I don't destroy anything. So on the first movement, I don't have enough space to do it properly, so you will have to imagine. So on the first one, you want to have the back hand in the center. So from, from the asso, okay, let's, let's come back with asso. I'm going forward with my back foot. My back hand is now in the center and my other hand is kind of stretched. I don't have enough space, so I'm gonna 
with kind of, so I'm gonna do like this, but it should be straight-ish. And then start, start sliding down so that your naginata is going down. And then by the time you're there, you want your other foot to go backwards and your back hand to go behind your hip. So if you look at the hand, it should be behind my hip here. Okay, and go diagonally. I don't have enough space, so I'm gonna get rid of the naginata. And I'm gonna do it by hand, sorry about that. So I saw, if you have enough space, perfect. If, if not, don't worry about it. So one, scat and backwards. I saw, one, two. I saw, one, two. I saw one, two. So one, two. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at what people are doing. Just continue, please. Okay, so I think the, the movement itself is good, but then the asso has a bit of fixing to do. So let's just fix the asso first. So before you move anything, make sure your asso is correct. That means by the time you're here, your, your back hand, or the lower one, is on the hip bone. And when I say on the hip bone, I mean this, this part here of your hand, so the joint between your hand and your wrist, you know, that, that here should be on the hip bone, okay? The other one, it, it should not be down like this. It should be up, as up as you can that your shoulder is still down. Does that make any sense? So your, your hand is more or less next to your ear in, in terms of the level, and it's holding the naginata diagonally. So if I, if I show you, sorry, I don't have space, so again, I'm gonna do like this. So it would be diagonally like this, you see? And then I'm closing the, the hand around it. It should not be like this, but elongated, okay? Okay, yes, that's better. And not this, but open. So open your chest and make sure that it's, you know, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say about, about horizontal, but uh, it depends from one person to the other. For me, it's slightly going down, but for some people, it's slightly going up. Not everyone has the same morphology, so. Adapt with the hand next to your your hair here. Okay, but, um, shoulder down, but elbow up. Let's try a couple of times. Also, make sure that at the moment I'm seeing a lot of people who are like this, and if you can see the difference in the video, you can see the 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 back of my naginata needs to be in front of my thigh. Okay, if it's out, I'm not, I'm not in the center. Also, it means my hand is too much back from, is behind my head. You don't want to have, to have the hand behind the head. You want to have the, the, this hand on the hip bone and the naginata in front of your thigh, okay? That means also the, the hand is be, beside your head, not behind it, okay? And the, okay. Uh, Ian and Alan try to try to put the the bottom of the naginata more in front of you, so more diagonally. Yes, okay, both much better. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, yes. Let's let's do it again. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't have space. Okay, so asso. Check your asso first before we go. Then the first step. And back and the bottom hand in the middle, the other one I'm gonna say uh, stretch so that your hand is about your your the height of your shoulder. Then start cutting and pull pull back with the 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 back hand behind you. Okay, I saw again. First step. Start cutting. Once you cut, just mean once the naginata passes your belly button, go backwards. Um, I saw 
One, two. Asso. One, two. Asso. Check your asso, please. Yeah. One, two. Asso. One, two. Okay. Asso. One, two. Okay, not bad. Let's pass to the next one. So I don't know if you remember Furikashi we did last time. Um, I'm going to re-explain the Furikashi for a sec. Uh, I'm going to show you first what it is, and then we are going to explain it slowly. So I'm going to do this. Okay. So how to do it? Uh, I'm going to show you diagonally so you can have a better image. So my back hand is going to slide into my front hand and at the same time I'm going to let my blade fall behind my back. Okay, like this. Just fall behind the back. So, at the same time that I do that, I'm going to go backwards. Both my hands are in the center. Okay, I don't know if you can see. I'm almost touching back, let's say. Then I'm changing my hands, sliding down until I have one elbow distance in the front, and both hands go down and forward, and I'm going forward again. And when you see when I finish, if you can see maybe this side better, I'm with the front leg a little bit bent, and the, the back hand is slightly outside of my body. I don't know if you can see again. I'm really far away, so like, like this, okay? That's the finishing uh, bit. So my hand is outside my body a little bit, just one fist away, okay? And then I'm doing that the other way around, so I'm gonna go one, change the hands, and forward. Go backwards, change the hands, and forward. If you keep doing it, I'm going to have a look because I'm really too far. Okay. Yeah. Almost. Okay. It's just a couple of little things. First things first, I'm in a very small corridor here and I have no problem doing the movement. It means I can do it almost, almost vertically, okay? You don't need to go by the side. If you go by the side, there is a problem. It means you need to make it as vertical as possible. That's the one, one first thing, okay? So let it really let the blade drop next to you. Um, the second thing is the front hand, it should not go around, okay? Because if you go around like this, you, you lose a lot of momentum. The, the front hand, it goes straight up your, your uh, on top of your head. So let me show you that. So the front hand goes straight from here to here. So up, okay? And down. So it's really vertical. Huh? 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 Okay? So, give it a go, give it a go. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, Ian got it. Um, Tula, you're going the other way around, so go backwards then forward. What? You're going the other way around, so make sure you go backwards first and then forward. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, Miranda, not bad. Just don't forget, don't tilt your head down. Make yourself taller. Yeah? And then once you go down, still keep, keep your posture. Keep, keep open. Okay, Alan, is, is a good movement, but don't forget, try not to go around with your, your hand all the way up straight and then down straight. And same thing for Roger. Don't go around straight. Try to go directly up with the, with the front hand. Okay. 
Yeah, better. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go a, a couple more times. So, one, two, one, two. Okay, not bad, guys. Yeah, don't forget not to go around, uh, everyone. Just straight, straight up. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, so from that, I do suggest we do all the strikes now. So I'm going to do them first with you. So people remember which strike is which one. Uh, and then I'm going to do the openings again. So, but I will repeat which opening is for what, okay? So you don't get all lost. Let's first do all the strikes uh, together. So first we'll do men, okay? So first step up, very small step. My hips are forward. And then on the second one, on the second step, both my hands are going down and making a step with both feet. Don't forget to move both feet forward. If you, are, uh, if you have a real naginata, make sure that this part of your blade here, uh, well, where, where it curves, whatever naginata you've got, that it's the, the height of your head, okay? Okay, let's do it. First step. Then, Chudan. Sugi One. Men. One. Okay, let's try the other side. So again, men cut. Okay. One. Men. Let's go a couple more times so I can have a look at what people are doing. Uh, okay, so just a couple of things to, to quickly change. Uh, the first thing is you need to hold it with the back hand, okay? So that means I'm holding it with this one and I need to be perfectly sideways, okay? So on the first step, when I go up here, if I would not hold it, if I let go of the first one, you can see you can see how you should hold your naginata, okay? So if you overstretch, if you would let go, you wouldn't be able to, to, to hold it. So let go of the back hand, so let go, sorry. Let go of the front hand. So let go of the front hand, you put it behind your back. First step, go up, okay? If you, if you can see how you are holding it now, that's the right position, okay? And also it's this hand that needs to hold it. And then down. Why am I saying that? It's because if you are hitting with the other hand, it means that you are holding it with this one. And then because you are holding it, you cannot slide it, okay? If you cannot slide it, by the end of your man, you're gonna, hand, you're gonna end up uh, slightly forward. You don't want that. You want to be completely sideways when you end up, okay? So if you're holding it with this one, because you cannot slide, it's impossible for you to be sideways, you need to slide, okay? So, by the time I'm doing the first move here, by the time I'm going down, the, the top hand, it's, it's kind of loose, it can slide up, and then by the end of the movement, it kind of slides down to make the strike, 
I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'm gonna try to replicate it like this. So I'm going up until I can see underneath my hand, okay? But it's the, the, this hand that is holding it. Then I'm going down. I'm gonna go sideways because I'm on my knees here. And this one is sliding up. And then at the end of the movement, it kind of slides down a little bit again, okay? Just slightly. But, but if you're holding it with this hand, then you cannot slide it, okay? So it's really important you, you hold it with the back hand. Okay, let's try again. So up and down, don't hold it with the front hand. Make sure you're all the way sideways here, okay? So you should be, you should be all the way to the side, not, not facing forward. Okay, yeah, and down to the shuttle. One, two, down to the shuttle. One, man, down, the shuttle. Okay, that's getting better. Let's do sune. So same thing with, so fully agitated sune. So that's big, big sune. So again, up, same thing. Now, what you want is the front hand stays in the center here. Okay, same thing as for men. And the other one can deviate slightly. So you go a little bit by the side with the front hand. But again, you slide, this one you slide down. So to you, so that the Naginata can slide down a bit, you can see but not much, you want to leave as much space as possible between your hands. If you end up with your hands like this, you have no control on your naginata. So you want the, the hands to be as far as possible from each other. But if you hold it in the original position, you will hit the knee, so you need to let, to let go a little bit, yeah? When you finish, you want to have the, the back of your hand against the naginata. So in the finishing position, you can see my, my shoulder is completely down, but as down as I can, that my elbow is still touching the naginata. If I'm going too much down, you can see now it's not touching. If I'm going too much up, now my shoulder is completely uh, cramped, okay? So as much down as you can, that your shoulder is down and that the naginata is still touching the, the elbow, okay? Let's try again. First step, front hand stays, the one, the one that is now in the front stays in the middle, the other one can go slightly sideways, so then. Oh, and because, I, okay, I'm gonna show you that like this. Because I come from the side, now my, my uh, blade is diagonal. You can see the blade diagonal, okay? So it's not like this, and it's not horizontal, so it's a bit, like about 45 degree-ish, okay? One more time. One, and snap. Chulan, Sugi Chateau. Oyagete, snap. Chulan, Sugi Chateau. Okay, let's go. Let's, I'm gonna have a look. Continue, please. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just a couple of things. Try to get to keep the, the front hand in the middle as much as you can so that your, your front hand doesn't do this sideways. You don't want to, to do this. You want the front hand to stay in the center and the, this one to deviate, okay? So the front hand needs to stay centered. Um, the other question is, don't forget to move both feet forward after the first step then move both feet forward. So if I may give you an example. So first step, that's fine for everyone. And now I move both feet. I'm going to try to show you that diagonally, but without the naginata, otherwise it doesn't fit. So first step, ah, okay. And then second step, one, two. Both feet uh, need to move forward, okay? 
One more time. Fully regate. Sonnet. Okay, yeah, guys, that's much better. One more time. Fully regate. Sonnet. Okay, let's do the next one. So let's go for Asso. So Asso. Uh, I'm going to show first, but then I'm going to get rid of it because I don't have space. And then we're going to do men. So for men cut, I'm going to press on my front foot. Press on the front foot. Men. When you finish, you can see that the hand is centered and it's plexus height. So now it's no longer here, it's here. Okay, so again, as much down as you can that the hand is still against your uh, naginata. So the, the elbow against the naginata. And the other one is not doing anything because if you let go of the front hand, you'll see it's holding on its own. If you let go, let's, let, um, once you're in men, let go of the front hand. If it's holding, that's the right position. Yeah? Okay, so the other one is just there to, to uh, guide. And again, because I came from the side, now my, my blade is sideways a little bit. Okay, you can see that? So it's not like this, it's not like this, it's sideways, like diagonally. Okay, let's do that again. So, asso, check your asso, make sure it's on your hip here, make sure it's the right height. Okay, and then press on the front foot, men. And again, don't forget to move both feet forward. Chudan, Sugiye Shiato. Asso. Men. Chudan, Sugiye Shiato. Asso. Men. Chudan. So this strike is called sokumen, okay? Sokumen. Again, aso, men, chudan, sugiyashiato. Okay, let's do the same thing with sune. So the sune strike is aso. Again, now I'm going directly to sune. So I'm pressing on the front foot, sune. And then the finishing part is the same as the other one. So I'm, I'm Bending my front knee, not too much, so you don't want to overlap your, um, your toes, okay? Just, just bend a little bit, and the other one is straight. And again, the naginata is against my uh, elbow, so if I would drop my front hand, it would still hold like this, okay? Um, sorry, I'm gonna get rid of the cats. Come on. Okay. okay. Right, so against, against your elbow and the other one, the, the front knee bent. But what you don't want, if I show you that from the front, you don't want to be like this, okay? If the naginata and the, the knee is crossing, it is wrong. You're gonna, you're gonna damage your knee, okay? So you want to open up, open up from the top here so that the, the knee is facing forward. So when you bend it, you bend in the same direction as the, the articulation. Otherwise, you're going to ruin the side of your knee, okay? So make sure that that's an important point here. And again, I'm sideways, okay? So diagonal. Okay, one more time. Asso, sune, chudan, tsugi shiato. Asso, sune. Chudan, Sugiye Shiato. Asso, Sune, Chudan, Sugiye Shiato. Let's have a look. Okay, don't forget your posture. So you don't want, you don't want to be like this, okay? You want to have your butt underneath your shoulders. Um, and also when you walk forward, don't walk making circles, okay? From here, it's a straight line forward, okay? So, straight line forward, not, not round. Also, because if you go round, you will finish with both feet parallel and then you ruin your kneecap. Okay, so this one needs to be straight. Okay, one more time. Asso, 
Okay, so I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do the openings and I'm gonna say each time which one is what. So the big men, I'm just gonna say men, okay? And the opening for men is just this. Okay? For Aso men, I'm gonna say Sokumen. Sokumen. The sign for it is this, okay? So I have my blade in front of my head here, okay? For big sune, so the, the one with two steps, I'm gonna do this. So my blade is down now, okay? And for aso sune, I'm gonna say sune, and I'm sideways like this in diagonal. All right? Let's try to give it a go. I cannot, I cannot see what you're doing because I'm too far from the screen, so I just trust that we are going to be okay. So, men who are up there. There's big men, yeah. Okay, and back. Men who are up there. Okay. Furi agete, sne wa te. That's a big one. Okay, good. Furi agete, sne wa te. Okay. Sune wa te. That's the aso, okay? One more time. Sune wa te. Aso, sune. Okay. Soku men wo te. That's aso men. Okay. Soku men wo te. Okay. Furiegete men wo te. It's a big one. Okay. Men wo te. Again, big one. Sokumen wo te. Small one. Yes, okay. Tsune wo te. That side, that's aso. Okay. Furiegete sne wo te. No, re. Okay. Okay, that was better than last time, I think. Uh, with a, a few more times, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's try to do, to repeat the exercises that we did that are combinations of all these things. So let's do furika, um, sorry, uchikaishi first. Um, so we're gonna do the attack again. So just to recap, one big man, two sokumen, Two uh, sune, two gyashiato, one big man. Okay, I'll, let's do that once together, and then just start as far as you can. Okay, so from chudan, big man, aso, man, aso, man. Aso, sune, aso, sune, chudan, sugi shato, and big man. Okay, one more time, chudan, and go backwards. Okay, let's do one once more. Man, man. Men, snap, snap, chudan, sugi shato, big man. Men, 
Okay, it should have an advantage. Okay, let's do the defense for that. So from Sudan, be as close as the screen, to the screen as possible now because we do the defense. Okay, defense for men. Yeah, defense for us or men. Defense for men again. Defense to net. Yeah, defense to net. Okay, pushing back. And defend men. Okay, let's do that one more time. So, defend men. Yeah, defend soccer men. Defend soccer men. Defend sunet. Defend sunet. Push him back. Chidan. Defend men. Okay, um, just one quick thing about defenses, because I think that's important, um, is you don't want to pass by the side too much. You want to be in the center, to, to be protected at all times. Because if you go too much to the side, there is a lot of time that you are open, so people can, can hit you. So, for example, uh, well, I don't, I don't even have space to do that. Uh, so, I don't have space to show you the bad example, so I'm just gonna show you the good example. So, from here, you want to make sure that by the time you go for the other one, you almost pass vertically. Hum. Okay, same thing here. Vertical, hum. Vertical, hum. Okay, so for all of them, you want to end up to first pass by a position. I'm exaggerating because you don't stay in that position. That is almost like, like you have your naginata vertically in front of you from between each position. So, of course, this is not a place where you stay, it's a place where you, you tra transition through. But if you do by the side, you will see that your, your naginata is not in the center. I'm going to try to get a smaller stick for a sec. Uh, okay. If I do that with this, you it's a bit small, but never mind. So if I do this to transition, it means that by the time I'm here, my head is open and my, my leg here is open. Okay, you can see that. Now my hand is open. So you don't want that. You really want to, to be in a place where everything is always protected. Okay, so let's try one more time. So together, defend the man. Make sure it's a little bit outside of your body and the, the blade is the height of your head. Okay. Now straight and back. And straight and back and straight and back, and straight, back, pushing through the center, and straight back. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's much better. Okay, so that was Uchikaishi. Let's repeat the kata quickly. First kata, first kata, big man, aso sune. Let's do the, the attack first. So, Big man, one, two, aso, sune. And again, for sune, make sure you go straight from the aso to the sune. Don't pass by the side, okay? Okay. Then you go back to chudan. You change side. Okay, and then four step back. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time, big man. Man. Asso. Sune. Yeah, good. Change sides. One, two, four steps back. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do the defense for the same kata. So start forward now. Okay. Defend men. I'm gonna go a bit more there, so otherwise I won't be able to do it. Defend sunet. 
Okay? Now, pull the leg in out that you are so well and go diagonally to the left. And men. Okay. Two down on the first step. And big step back. Now, four steps forward. One, two, I'm on the line. Three, four, I'm pushing back. Let's try that again. So, defend men. Defend Sune. Asso sideways. Men. First step, Chudan. Second step, backwards. Now, four steps. One, two, I'm on the line. Three, four, starting position. Okay, let's do the second one. So, to recap, the attack is going to be the big sune and then aso men. Okay, let's do it together. We'll start backwards. Okay, big sune, one, sune, aso men. Okay, change sides, one, two. And four steps. One, two, three, four. One more time. Big sune. Sune. Okay. Asso. Men. Change sides. Okay. Four steps. One, two, three, four. Good. Now let's do the defense. I'm starting in the front here. Defend Sune. Don't forget to defend Sune. So the blade is going down, okay? I can't show you sideways because I don't have space, but the, the backhand is just flipping up. So if I show you that sideways without the Naginata because I don't have space, the front hand stays where it is. The other one just goes up. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Good, so, defense sune. Now, again, I'm going to go vertically men. Okay, sideways to the left, I'm going to take the asso. And now sune. Um. Okay. Chudan, first step, and then second step backwards. Now, two first steps, I'm back on the line, two next steps, I'm forward. Okay, one more time, defend Sune, defend Men. Uh, okay, when you pass from Sune, from Sune to Men, so I was here. And I'm going to take the shortest way, so I'm, I'm just going to, this hand is going to go back with the, with the leg. Okay, both things go back. If it doesn't go, it's because you didn't make it short enough. So you need to, if it's too long here, you know, if my leg is too long in the front, it will be really hard for me to go because it's too long. And then also when I'm, once I'm changing, I don't want to, this to be too short here. Otherwise, when, when I receive, I will receive it on my hands, you see? So you want this bit to be now long. So it is important when you do the sune that you make it short enough. So what I mean is when you do this, you need to make it short first and then go up. And I don't know if you can see, I cannot show you sideways today. So pull first, pull first with your back hand and then make it short. So you see, when I'm, my, my hand is very close to the sendan maki. It's, it's, it's about 15, 20 centimeters. It doesn't matter how much. It really depends on your height. Uh, it just needs to be short enough that when you want to turn, you don't have to go up and down with your hands. So, one. It needs to protect you. So how much you go up or down, it really depends on your height. And now, I don't have to go up with my hands, I just go backwards, you see? 
Yes, okay, that's much better. And now you can see I have quite a bit of a, of a length here, so there is no risk that anyone will hit my hands now. Okay, one more time. So, defense sonnet, defend men, also sideways. Well, it's diagonally, not really sideways. Okay, sonnet, hum. First step, chudan. Second step, big step. Then one, two, I'm on the line, three, four, I'm starting point. Okay, let's do number four just to finish. Just so number four is asso sune. Then the other one is avoiding it and he does men. So I'm defending his men. And then I'm doing arai, and he does furikai shimen. Okay, that's the one we did last time. Let's do it together. So I'm doing aso sune, and he avoids the sune, so now he's going to attack me men, so defend the men. Okay? And I do arai to push him out of the way. Okay? And he comes men. Okay, then we change sides. One, two, and that's it. Okay, one more time. Asso, sonne. Defend men. Arai. Don't forget to step back. And he does men. He goes backwards. And we change sides. Mochikai te. Okay, let's do the defense for that. I'm going to move a bit more forward so you can see. So he's coming from he's coming from a so sune. So to avoid the sune, I'm going backwards. One, two. Ah, uh, guys, look at the feet. Okay, um, not completely backwards. So let's let me focus just on the feet because otherwise I cannot show you. So I'm going to show you sideways, which I cannot do with Lena. So one, two. One, two. Okay, so I don't, I don't go back with this foot. I go back with both feet and they stay kind of close to each other. So my, my the, the back of my, this heel and this front of the foot, it's about aligned. It's not an exact science, but about, and then push forward again. So one, two. Okay. Let me show you that from the front now. Okay, I'm going to put that back in place. Okay, so it's coming from Sune. So one, two, up. Go all the way up that you can see underneath your hands. And then, man. Now he's pushing me to the side with his arrive. So I'm going to take advantage and do Furikai Shi. Without moving the full feet, I'm doing the hands first. I'm swapping the hand and now I'm doing one big step forward. Okay, now first step, chudan. Second step, big one. And then change sides, one, two. Okay, one more time. So he's coming to sune, back. And men. He does arai, so I'm taking advantage. Furikai shi without moving the feet and men forward. Okay, two down on the first step and big step back and change sides. One, two. Okay, last time. Aso sune avoid and men. And Arai Furikai Shi Men. First step, Chudan. Second step, Large One. And Mochikai Te. Okay, Nore. Te. Okay, let's get rid of the Nengata. Let's do a quick revo to finish. So, c'est ça. Morceau. Mon 
Box with your man. Hey. Ahí está todo como está. Right. So you can unmute yourself see if you can. Um, I think it's possible. Yes. Uh, I stay silent forever. No. <laughs> <laughs> So how, how did it go? Is it all okay? If, if you have any question? No? Okay, but this is all recap from what we did before. Um, just so, you know, we can go through everything. What I'm going to do next time is I'm, I'm going to try to do some applications uh, of these same movements but that we would do with Bogu. Okay? So if we would have the Bogu one, we would use the same movements, but we wouldn't... Um, you don't have that much of a, um, different steps, if you like. They are not, they are, there is no waiting for the other one or, you know. Um, so I'm going to try to make some applications so you can see practical uh, use for this rather than just do uh, these movements as a, um, you know, as kata. So I hope that's going to help a bit. And of course, it's just a question of doing the right footwork to make it efficient in a fight with it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So if you have any questions, don't uh, don't hesitate and send me a, well, drop me a, a message or to Desmond or, you know. Okay. Seems every, everybody got cats. Sorry. Almost, every, almost everybody seems to have a cat or two. <laughs> oh yeah, well it's my parents cat and the problem is he doesn't hear anything. So, oh, yes, yes. Um, so that's why I get rid of the cat first because if he's still there, uh, he's well, he uh, he's in danger. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, poor cat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, it, it worked quite well. Of course, I don't have yeah. any space, so hopefully you could understand it even even with the narrow the narrow bit here. Uh, but yeah. Again, if you have any question, just drop me a little a little message and uh, we'll sort it out. Okay. Well, see you all. If there is no question, see you all next week. Uh, and stay safe, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you.